The Totino Grace boys soccer team is unbeaten in Northwest Suburban Conference play as they look to wrap up another title and then later pursue a state Class A title. In this week's Sports Jam Spotlight, we meet one of the state's top players who is hoping to lead the Eagles back into the state tournament. Soccer coaches are always looking for scorers, guys who can create and put the ball in the net. Senior Herbert Endley of Totino Grace fits the bill pretty well. After netting 34 goals and 14 assists as a junior, he scored 15 goals with six assists in the Eagles' first 10 matches this fall. He's just got a great soccer sense. He knows what to do with the ball. He knows how to get open. Um, obviously, he can finish very well, but he's, he's great at finding his teammates and setting them up. Uh, I know last year he had most assists on our team, and this year he's leading right now, so he's, he doesn't just score goals. He, gets the whole team goals. I feel like I've improved since last year. I feel like I'm helping the team in ways that I should and in ways that I expect myself to, so I'm really proud of myself and my teammates as well. Many soccer teams in the Northwest suburbs have African immigrants playing for them. Herbert did live on the continent, but his path is a little different than most. So I was born in Minnesota, but I moved to Tanzania when I was about five years old, because my dad, my dad works for the United Nations, so we moved there, we lived there for about five years, and that's where I started playing soccer and then we moved back in 2010 when I was about 10 years old and then I just continued playing and it just grew on from there. His parents are from the other side of Africa and Cameroon. The time in Tanzania was a great opportunity for Herbert. For my personal life it was pretty fun because I've traveled, I've been to a lot of places and living there was pretty nice because I went to an international school so I had friends from basically all over the world and it's just nice you know, seeing a different part of the world and how, not just soccer, but how they live and what they do every day. And in terms of soccer, I just remember we just played every day. During recess, all we did was play soccer and after school, before school, so that's kind of how I got into it. On the Totino Grace team, Endley is part of a great one-two offensive punch with Stevenson Lamar. Came to the U.S. from Haiti a few years back. Herbert and I, before we were a soccer teammate, we were playing first. So it's always helping me playing against him as his teammate and knowing that he got my back and I got his back. And, and he also pushed me to work harder because I'm always like saying, looking after him. He's been doing good things for the team. We play on the same club team so that really helps us and I think being friends off the field is very beneficial because it helps us. We have really good chemistry. I don't think I've had as much chemistry with anybody else I've ever played with, so it really helps us. Endley will play college soccer next season at Indiana. I just think they have a great program, and in terms of like going professional, which I hope to achieve in the future, I think it was probably the best choice for me to choose. He has a, a pretty unique story in that um, I think we're in the day and age when they try to identify players as young as possible and then put them on the best teams and academies and those things. And um, in junior high, he was still playing at the C2 level on the club side of things. Um, so to, to go from there to a verbal commitment to Indiana is pretty cool. While they push each other to get better, the Eagles have a team first vibe that helps them be as good or better than the sum of their parts. A lot of people always ask me, Herbert and I, who's better, but first, what I say is that we both have the team. It doesn't matter who's better. If Herbert score, I have the team. If I score, I have the team. So the team come first. As Herbert Endley and Totino Grace take aim at matching last year's state class A championship, the mentality team-wide is to be hungry. Going after the state title again, we don't think of ourselves as defending anything. We just want to go after it because last year was last year and nobody can take away what we accomplished last year. So we just want to go after the winning state again this year with the same ambition that we had last year. Endley had two goals Saturday as the Eagles beat Maple Grove 4-1. They have three regular season games left this week. 